The CEO of Shell, Ben Van Burden, came out today and said, this crisis is not about one winter. This could last for a long time. Do you agree? And if so, or if not, why? Well, good morning, Brian. Uh, no, he's absolutely right, because uh, what we've done essentially is knocked out 10 percent of the world's production, which is Russia, and, and put it on hold. Uh, they are a big gas producer, 60 billion cubic feet of gas, and that's not going to go to Europe anymore, uh, just a matter of time. And the U.S. doesn't have the capacity to fill that up, and uh, the OPEC producers are not gas producers. In any case, there isn't any LNG capacity in the world to make up for the Russian exports to, uh, to Europe. They were running at about 14 billion cubic feet. Now, if this situation in, in the Ukraine is not resolved, and it's unlikely to get resolved, uh, we're looking at a uh, ceasefire, probably an embargo that will go on for years. And uh, then we have to find the, the resources to replace that. That's going to take years. So yeah, I think he's absolutely right. This situation is, is a new world, and it's not a very good one for energy. But there is leverage that the world has over Russia. I mean, by all accounts, they can't hold out forever. I mean, they need the money, do they not? I mean, how much, how, how much pain do you think Russia, and Vladimir Putin in particular, Sadat, is willing to inflict on his country and his people? Yeah, uh, Brian, you're absolutely right. Nobody's winning in this conflict. Uh, both sides are, are taking a severe hit to their economy and to their future, to their outlook. But Russia does have outlets. Russia can go to China, can go to uh, uh, Japan, can go to India. It, it's got uh, plenty of alternatives. Europe does not have alternative energy sources. They use, the U.S. is maxed out already. Uh, North Africa has got problems. You know what's going on in Libya. They're back on the revolution. Uh, OPEC itself, by the time you add Angola, Nigeria, and Libya's underperformance, uh, that's almost one and a half, two million barrels out of OPEC's capacity that has not been delivering. So uh, it's a global problem. Uh, Russia will probably suffer severely. Uh, we know that's happening. Uh, how much will the Russian people take? Uh, who can tell? But uh, the rest of the world is suffering with them. Uh, there's no winner in this war. Everybody's a loser. No. Yeah, it, it, that's well said. Listen, there, there are new Russian oil export sanctions. I know we talk a lot about sanctions. I'm not sure our global audience fully understands that the full sanctions on Russian oil exports don't kick in until December 5th. A lot of people are predicting some pretty dire things when that occurs. Sadat, I was just in Germany a few weeks ago. Listen, I had conversations with just sort of, you know, everyday citizens. I can't speak for the nation, but I can tell you the people I spoke with, Sadat, they did not seem enthusiastic about losing their jobs or risk freezing because of Ukraine. I'm not making a value judgment. It's what they said. Do you think there's any chance that the EU postpones these sanctions because they don't want to deal with an already angry populace that is really worried about making it through the winter. Well, Brian, it's a two-way street. Uh, let's say the European Union decides that this is too fast and too deep, and they decide to uh, be a little bit more prudent and extend uh, these uh, sanctions to a later date. But now you've got to convince the Russians that they want to go along, and, and the Russians even at $70, $80 a barrel, and even producing 9 million barrels, are doing fairly well. Uh, they're, they're not hurting as badly as the Europeans. And they don't have a population that is going to get upset with the government like the Europeans do. So it's a two-way street. I think it's going to be a very painful negotiation for a ceasefire. Uh, but if not done, uh, the European economy is going to be in shambles for a long time. And, and the Russians may recover a lot sooner than Europe. 